Oh, no. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> he still hasn't moved off the shelf. I guarantee that's why nobody's buying it. <laughs> Right there. I mean, it's like right there in your face. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and it's Five Thrift Store Friday. Yes, it's Five Thrift Store Friday, the happiest day of the week. And we are kicking it off at Old Thrifty Pants. Thrift Giant, baby. We're about to head in there and see what kind of goodies they got. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and we're gonna pray, 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 pray to the vintage thrift store gods that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. I'm super excited for this, man. We, uh, we're gonna hit up a couple of thrift giants today, a couple of goodie wheels and a thrift city. And man, I hope we can find some vintage toys because I need some vintage jazz. It's it's the Christmas season. I'd like to have like a big old Christmas, like a big old Christmas Santa Claus haul of vintage toys today. All right, let's see what they got in here. All right, well, we got Simba, Funko Pop. We've got the Witch Doctor, I think from Scooby-Doo. I went $5 each for those, I'll have to look up. I don't think that Witch Doctor is worth much, but I'll look up the Simba. Well, I'll look them both up just to double check. All right, but what do we got here? Hey, Ground Zero. This looks like that, uh, what's his name? Timon or something like that from the Lion King. It's like some sort of boar. What's this back here? Uh, just some blocks. Maybe a magic wand. Oh no, it's a flute. Oh, we got some trucks over here. Looks like we got ourselves a shark. <laughs> All right, what else do we got? Oh, look at it. We got Garfield. Oh, he's kind of cute. All right, I'm gonna put him in the cart. He's kind of kind of cheapy made though. It's kind of like almost he would be in one of those crane machines. We got like a little Spider-Man car. And uh, what's this? Oh, he's a cute little guy. Oh, we got a big old box over here. Any goodies in here? Let's see, we got some dinos. Just looking to see if there's any vintage figures. I don't see anything. Yeah, I don't see nothing in there. Oh, we got a, this looks like an older Jurassic Park. Jurassic World. I wonder if it's got the, it's got JW on it. This is an older one though. I mean, you can tell because he doesn't have like a lot of the details, like the, the paint job details that the newer ones have. Oh, and here's another one. There's two of them. They want $6.99 for those bad boys. Dang. What's this one here? Oh, he's got a little battle damage. He doesn't have a price on him, but we could probably fix that. <laughs> This looks like Godzilla almost, man. He's kind of cool looking. It's made out of rubber. Yeah. Oh, is this another one? Oh no, he's a rubber one too. And then we got this two-headed dragon. And then this dude's cool. Oh, look how the inside of his legs are not, uh... you yeah, know, that's for how they save on money. They don't complete the legs. The rest of them is kind of bulky and big, which is cool. Oh, look at that. I like how you can make his head swivel back and forth like that. And then we've got this Stegosaurus. Lots of uh, Jurassic World dinos today. Oh, whoa, look at all these Banes. Where'd all these Banes come from? That's kind of crazy. We got this Batman back here. But yeah, these uh, these Banes are cool. I have a Bane that's uh, customized and he's super cool. Kind of like, almost want to get another one of these just to try my hand at it. Oh, and looky, looky. It's our boy, Buzz. What's up, Buzz? And we've got Hulk. We got this like smart bot dude over here. Lots of uh, Marvel, 12 inch Marvel figures. Hey, look, it's Vader 
Vader with the missing lightsaber. He's he never ever 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 has his lightsaber. I've never seen him. If I ever find him with it, I'm gonna buy it. What's this guy? Is this uh, uh some sort of Spider-Man? We got a Superman. And then what's this? Like the uh, Blue Angels. Oh, this thing's cool. Jungle 4x4. Yeah, big old monster truck looking thing. That's pretty awesome. Oh, look, it's our boy Buzz, but he's driving, driving a car. Oh, look at this. That's pretty awesome, too. Doesn't have the RC uh, remote control, though. <laughs> look at this creepy looking dude. Bug eyes. Ah, oh, now that's a fun looking basketball. It's got all the like, uh, they almost look like Funko Pops. Good stuff. A division of basic fun. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see how much that is. How much are they asking for it? $3.99? Let's see if it's worth anything more than that. Oh, check out this pirate ship. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. We've seen that before, though. You know, it's still awesome to look at. Oh, and then there's like this Pizza Planet play set. It's pretty cool, too. Hey, check out this thing. It's a seat. Yeah, that's pretty nice. It's got a little compartment there you can put your stuff in. I wonder how much they want for it. I don't see a price on it anywhere. It kind of looks like it's starting to tear apart though a little bit. Oh yeah, I see it detached from up here. Got ourselves a big old Megazord. All right, first store, busted. But that's all right, we still have four more stores to hit up. Up next, the Goody Wheel. All right, kids, we're here. We're at the Goody Wheel, baby. Oh yeah. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? <laughs> All right, let's head in here and hope they got some good, 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 good stuff for us. Oh, what do we got here? We got some sort of lightsaber. We've got a Batmobile. Let's see if there's a Batman inside. No, no Batman inside. Some golf balls. Yeah, I'm not seeing much of anything here. Let's see, what do we got on the end cap here? Little castle play set. Yeah, just a bunch of junk today. Hey, there's a little Christmas ornament. Transistor radio. How much they want for that? Originally, it was $9.99. Is that $4.34 or $1.34? I think it's $4.34. That's crazy. All right. Busted at the Goody Wheel. Up next, Thrift Shitty, baby. All right, my friends. We're here, baby. We're at the infamous Thrift City, home of the world famous glass case, which hasn't had anything in it for like eight months or something like that. <laughs> I gotta stop calling it the world famous glass case. It used to be a good glass case. It used to score all kinds of awesome stuff out of there. That's why I always get excited about this glass case but there's other glass cases around town that are better than this one so let's head in here and let's see what they got all right well we got a little section of plushville over here look at this beaver <laughs> nanco creators of quality fun he's kind of cute he's really soft too all right we got some plushies on the wall, a couple bags down there. That thing's still here. It's been here for like a month. And uh, what do I got here? I got a little car. We got a little science kit with a microscope. All right. What's this thing? Oh, yeah, that's like that Spider Man web slinger thingy. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's something Spider Man related. We got a Triceratops gun, a Darth Vader mask. That one looks like it probably talks. And, uh, oh, looky here. 
We got a spider, or not spider, we got a Power Ranger. We got a soldier. We got Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. Something TMNT. It's like one of those little pool, pool cars. I'm gonna save one for this bag. A buck 99. All right, let's grab it. Now, that's not a Power Ranger, is it? No, what is that? I don't think that's a Power Ranger. Kind of reminds me also uh, almost of, uh, oh gosh, what's his name? Oh man, it's something man. Like 1970s. Oh gosh, I can't remember his, his name. Anyway, I'll figure it out. But yeah, I think we'll grab this bag for a buck 99. What's in this bag? Oh, look at that. We got a gun in there. Sweet. Got this dragon from How to Train Your Dragon. He's kind of cool. All right, what else? What's this little stagecoach? Little Fisher Price stagecoach. Oh, yeah, look at that. It wobbles. Kind of like a real stagecoach, whatever. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, I like it. What else? Oh, we got a wrestler. Oh, it's The Rock. He says it right there on his crotch. The Rock. Hmm. He looks a little older. What year is he from? 1999, I think. Yeah, 1999. Jack's Pacific. Alright, I think we'll pick him up too. There's not a price on him, so we'll probably give him to me for like a buck or something. Alright. What else? Mm, I'm not seeing anything else. Alright, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. Alright, anything cool in the glass case today? Just that same group of plushies that's been here since Halloween. Look at that little, that little guitar case. Uh, we've got that MMA fighter back there. He's been here for a while too. Some Harry Potter playing cards or something. Oh, look at those little tiny cassette tapes. Oh, and a little tiny cassette player. I'm actually gonna ask to see that. I think I'm gonna buy that today. $10. Yeah, I'm definitely grabbing that. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, look at this. It's like a Pac-Man remote control. Hmm. I like it. I kind of want to get it just because it's got Pac-Man on it. Uh, okay, so here's a Mega Man Arcade 1-Up. That's what this is. It's a 1-Up. This one actually has the controller and the box. A buck ninety nine, so four, five, six dollars for that little setup. Too bad this didn't. I wonder if it's on the shelf here somewhere. I'm gonna look around. Um, yeah, I'll probably. I may end up getting like this one here. Here, this one actually comes with ten games. I'm assuming this one does two. All right, I'm gonna look into this a little bit. All right, so I'm not going to get this because I couldn't find the console for it. I just watched a YouTube video of a guy and he was like saying that these things are total trash. And he was complaining about the button placement and all that stuff like that. But the games look pretty cool. I mean, it has Mega Man, there's Sonic, there's Mario Brothers. There's like some really cool games on here. So I think I'm going to get it. I mean... It's only going to be four or five, six dollars for it. He was saying how he paid 40 for his. Um, the thing is, too, it does not have the HDMI cord with it, but I've got one at the house, so that shouldn't be an issue. All right, well, let's grab it. All right, guys, we got our haul. So let's head to the car. It's not that far. It's time for show and tell. It's time for show and tell. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's take a look at what I picked up. All right, well, first up, I've got 
the Mega Man collection. I guess it has like all six original Mega Man games. And then it's got like additional games. It's got Sonic on it. It's got Mario Brothers and some other ones, I believe. Again, I think maybe 10 games in all. We've got the controller and this little mini console. Look how cute that thing is. <laughs> it's so tiny. So, but anyway, uh, yeah, we picked this up for a total of $6. The guy in the video I watched on YouTube was saying he paid 40 for his and he wasn't very happy, but the games look pretty good to me. I don't know. The biggest complaint he had is the, the button placements. He was saying that A makes them jump, B makes them shoot, and they should be reversed or something like that. I don't know. But I got this. I also picked up this guy and I know who I, I was thinking. This looks like Ultraman. Remember in the store, I was like, I can't really remember what uh, what he is or where, you know, he looks familiar. It was Ultraman, but this is uh, from the Superhuman Samurai Super Squad 5. His name's Servo, but look at this. I didn't pay attention again. He doesn't have his feet. Oh, man. What am I going to learn to pay closer attention to these things? But anyway, he's still kind of cool. Um, I also picked up from that little bag these two dudes. So this thing right here is cool enough. I mean, that was worth the $1.99 for me. <laughs> I mean, it probably isn't even worth a $1.99, but it was worth it for me just to get him. He's kind of cool. Let's see if I can pull him back. Oh, that's cool, his arms kind of raise up. So I got him, and this guy here fell on the floor. I also picked this dude up. And he did come with, it did come with a shaggy, but look at this shaggy. His feet, or his hands are all chewed up. He's got a big chunk taken out of his head, so this guy's total garbage. And then this thing here is gonna need a little cleaning up. But uh, I got this little tape recorder along with some of these little mini tapes. I got it for $10. I bet Caroline will love this. I'm gonna clean it up because it's a little sticky and crusty. I mean, look at that. Look at the look at the crust on that stuff. It's disgusting. It's loaded up with koof right now. All right, so we got this. And that's the haul from, <laughs> that's, the, that's the bag of crap from Thrift Shitty. Definitely. Thrift Shitty definitely lifted, lived up to its name today. I don't know, this thing here is pretty cool though, right? You know, so I'm gonna get home and play these today. So, all right, so we got two more thrift stores to hit up, Thrift Giant and Goody Will. So let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at Thrift Giant number two. So we're gonna head in here. We're gonna ravage these shelves. Hopefully pull out some sort of score. It's been a long time since I've scored anything from this thrift giant. They've had jack squat for months. I've been almost to a point where I'm like ready to stop checking here because I never have anything. So let's see if they got something today. We got some big box of toys back there, but uh, nothing I'm interested in. Hey Keith, look at this. If my buddy Keith is watching, I'm sure he is. There's an autograph ball in that in that bucket, but I ain't buying that whole bucket for you just to get you that ball, brother. All right, well, let's see. What do we got on the shelves? Oh, they actually have some stuff today. Got this Spider-Man motorcycle. We got some 12 inch figures in here, like our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. This little car. That's about the coolest stuff they've had in here for a while. All right, what else do we got? Anything else on the shelves? Oh, look at this. Is this a little Fisher Press? Is this a vintage one? No, it's from 2015. It's a reproduction. It's cool though. Oh, look at that cool car. Oh, it's a Peppa Pig, like RV or something like that. I bet you that's worth a little money. Oh, and here we got a Harry Potter on card for $8.99. <laughs> Forget about it. And then we've got this Selena Kyle from the new Batman. What do they want for her? 
$3.99, that's a little better than $8.99, <laughs> but she ain't even worth that. I bet you this thing's actually worth something, but it would be too big for me to ship. Well, it's not as worth as much as I thought it was. Uh, they sell for about 15 bucks in this condition. If you had all the pieces and stuff and some figures, they can go for like 30, 35 dollars, but you're looking at about 15 to 18 dollars like that. All right, guys, busted again. All right, we got one last shot at redemption. We've got the Goody Wheel. Now this Goodwill we're going to, you know, I've pulled some awesome scores out of there. So I have a feeling we're gonna finish strong today. All right, oh, and by the way, I also, I forgot to show him. I did pick up the rock. She gave him to me for a dollar. He's got uh, some paint wear on him, but I'll probably just take a marker or something or get Nicole to take some acrylic paint and paint him. The rock is balding. He's balding. He's all bald now in real life, right? Probably. Does he shave his head? Like because he's bald or does he shave his head just to be cool? So, but anyway, yeah, I picked him up. He's from the 90s. So at least we got a little vintage 90s in the house today. Now, off to the goody wheel. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at our final destination of the day. We're at the goody wheel. What you got for me today, goody wheel? What you got for me today? I bet you're gonna deliver the goods. I bet we're gonna finish strong. Yes, just think about it, right? Finish strong. All right, guys, let's see what they got in here. All right, guys, here we are, ground zero. Look at this right here. Oh, hey, how are you? <laughs> it's been a while. I know, I've been watching you. Oh, yeah, oh, awesome. So, have you found anything good lately? Uh, a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. That's cool. I found some heel kit and dishes yesterday. Oh, okay. Back in the 80s. No kidding. Yeah. Oh. There's a lot of hand painting stuff. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, no, you're totally cool. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I scored something good on Facebook Marketplace the other day. Um, big lot of like 80s, like Thundercats and G.I. Joe and all that. And I got it all for like 40 bucks. Like probably, I'm gonna guess maybe a hundred to hundred twenty dollars worth of stuff, you know. So. My nephew used to have like the original Skull Mountain and Skull mm. Cats when he was little. Yeah. And I was like, you just kept it. I know, right? <laughs> That's how I feel too. If I would have just kept them, yeah. it was good seeing you. Too. Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. Let's see. What do we got? Well, I'm not seeing a whole lot, actually. Maybe we'll find Stratos' arm that one day we were here looking for it. We couldn't find it. <laughs> Sometimes things like that pop up at a later date. Look at this little tricycle. Trike ATV. Uh, here's that. Uh, this was here a couple weeks ago. This little van. X Motion. Well, guys, I think we're going to get busted here, too. This little dog. This tough dog. Tough mutt. Yeah, I'm just not seeing nothing, man. This sucks. <laughs> Well, at least we got something cool from the last, uh, at least we got a video game console. And we got an old tape recorder. That's kind of neat. Junk neat, you know. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, here's some slippers. <laughs> Nasty. Oh, did somebody eventually buy our friend? Here's this one. I didn't see him. I didn't see him today. What's this down here? Oh, that's neat too. Oh, no. <laughs> here he is. <laughs> he still hasn't moved off the shelf. I guarantee that's why nobody's buying it. 
there, right there. I mean, it's like right there in your face. All right, guys, well, we got busted again. Man, kind of a weak showing today. I'll tell you what I am gonna do. I was gonna make this the final destination, but uh, Caroline for Christmas, one of the things she wants is she wants a vintage letter opener, a metal, like steel or whatever, uh, letter opener, you know, something kind of sharp. <laughs> so uh, there is an antique store. It's the antiques, uh, <clears throat> the antique tea room, get the tea room, antique gallery, whatever it is. You know, we've been there before, the antiques gallery tea room. Antiques gallery tea room. I'm gonna pop in there and see if they have, uh, see if they have any uh, uh, letter openers. All right, I'll see you over there. All right, kiddos. We're at the Antiques Gallery Tea Room. We're on a mission for my daughter, Caroline. Caroline the greatest. She is the greatest. She is awesome. Best kid a parent could ever ask for. She's polite. She's kind. She's giving. She's respectful. We've never really had any issues with her. Like, She's just been awesome all the way around. Great kid. Couldn't have asked for a better kid. <laughs> all right, so let's see what they got in here. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. I like the lion on it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly what the origin of that is with the, the lion kind of holding the scepter, I would guess maybe. Yeah. From Britain somewhere, but. Emerald City Antique. Okay, um, I'll tell you what, I will definitely take this. All right. Oh, I think we found Caroline, her antique letter opener. I think it's pretty cool. I think she'll like that. Um, but I am gonna continue to look around, see if they have any other letter openers around here. Maybe something a little more daintier, girlier. But I think I think she'll like the lion. She's, she's a lioness, you know? So, but yeah, we'll take a look around and we'll take a look at some toys while we're in here too. We got some vintage cabbage patch and then this Hot Wheels mug. What do they want for that? $20 for that, wow. For a second I thought that was He-Man. <laughs> ah, they've got uh, the Fraggle Rocking. I just, just did a trade with a girl on Instagram for these. Her name's Cindy, I'll put her account up here. She likes to trade stuff and I think she sells stuff too. Oh, here's some Flintstones. What do you want for this bag? Uh, let's see. $20 for all five figures. Oh, that's like a Flintstone house. And there's like a little Fred from the movie. I like the Barneys though. Oh, we got these little Ronald McDonald cars with Hamburglar and Birdie. A couple of Ronnies in there. And then, uh, I can't remember the name of this girl. What is this? Oh, this is Chippendale. One Chip and Rock and Racer from Trippendale. Chip and Trippendale. 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 They be tripping balls. Uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Oh, who's this guy? Long John Silvers from Pirates of the High Seas. 1990s missing parrot, spyglass, and cutlass. It's pretty cool. They only want $3 for that. Even though he's missing all that stuff, I think I might pick him up for 3 bucks. He's kind of cool. Um, what do we got here? TMNT. Looks like that might have been attached to some sort of vehicle. It's like a sidecar. And then uh, we've got a belt in there, a trading card, and then this handheld game. Oh, it says it doesn't work. And they still want 10 bucks for the bag. Got these little guys. We got some fry guys over here. Here's a big Smurf head. Vitamin cap. Oh, it went to a bottle of vitamins. that is let's see Zootopia All right. oh here's the penguin with the penguin what do they want for him eight dollars 
got this one already though. I don't have the penguin. I don't know if, uh, is that penguin actually his penguin or is that just like a, like a safari type animal that they put in there? You know what I mean? Like those bags of lions and tigers and seals and whales. So that's cool. Look at this. It's like a milkshake or something like that. I don't know what that is. It's got fruit in it. I don't know what that is. Got some vintage game. Royal Kismet. Don't bug me. The Miller's Outposts. Parcheesi. Shoots and Ladders. Oh, look. It's the Cinderella. Last slipper. Oh, ain't that pretty. Oh, we got these little trolls down here. That vintage troll doll. Yeah, he's got his little pajama bottoms on. And we got this one over here dressed up like a fairy. That one's cute. And I got those trolls back here. This is a cute troll. I like his pajamas. I almost want to get him 10 bucks. I mean, I got a little troll collection going on, which just happened by accident. It was just from me picking up these little guys in thrift stores. Yeah, I think we're gonna grab him. I mean, for 10 bucks. And he's super cute. He's a little dirty though, huh? Yeah, I don't know. You're a little crusty, dude. Maybe, maybe I won't get you. I don't know. I'll think about it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get you. I'm just gonna try washing your clothes and see if I can get you all spick and span. They feel kind of starchy too. They're not soft at all, but I like his hair. Now, what's this? Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi in 1941. Oh, you know what? I think I remember seeing this on TV years ago. I want $4 for that. I'm gonna pick it up. That's cool. Oh, look at this. We got a Bill Cosby 8-track. <laughs> Speaking of World War II, look at these old model kits. Show me that smile again. Show me that smile. <laughs> Every time I see these uh, these trading cards, that song pops into my head. Show me that smile again. Show me that smile. All right, so we'll do our show and tell right now so I can wrap things up when we leave. I'm going to get this 1941 VHS tape with Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi. I'm going to get this little good luck troll. He actually comes with, originally he came with a hat and like a little teddy bear, but he's missing those. But I think he's really cute. I'm going to take him home with me. And I got the letter opener for Caroline check that out so it was originally $14.95 but the booth must have had it on sale because I got it for seven dollars she's gonna love that that is freaking awesome yeah that's pretty sweet <laughs> I can't wait to give that to her for Christmas she doesn't even know I got it she's been asking for one and we kind of looked the other day when we went out together but uh, we didn't find any and she ended up buying like an antique butter knife for like a dollar she was like, this will be good enough, Dad, but I want to get her a real letter opener. So we did it. We did it. We did it together. All right. Hey, if you guys are enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor. Smash the like button. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and over 600 videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.